Hi, this is Venetia and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I have a word from Jesus, our friend, that was given to me um, this morning. Um, well, this would have been um, four, well, yeah, April the 4th of 2024 at 1 19 a.m. And the title of this um, spoken word that Jesus um, spoke to me to, to describe for him is, I am taking my remnant bride higher. I am taking my remnant bride higher. And the passage of scripture that we're going to marry with this spoken word is found in Mark 1.15 in the Passion Translation. And it says, At last the fulfillment of the age has come. It is time for God's kingdom to be experienced in its fullness. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I feel you so precious within this vehicle. Oh, take over my vessel and speak through my voice the words that Jesus had me scribe for him last night. Lord, I pray that... Um, the intent with which you spoke will be uh, will come through this vessel and go to the hearts that the Holy Spirit has prepared to receive. Now I ask all glory and honor be given to my Lord Jesus and in his name he be lifted up to draw all men to him. I love you Lord. Here am I. Here am I, Holy Spirit, speak through my voice. I am totally surrendered to you in Jesus' name. And this is what Jesus uh, spoke to me um, early this morning. I am taking my remnant bride higher so that they can see from my heavenly perspective. Many have been called but few have been chosen. My chosen ones are the ones leading the battle in this end time war being fought between good and evil. They soar over the enemy's camp as eagles having the wisdom and understanding of an owl in the, mid, in the darkness of midnight. When they speak, all creation obeys. For it is my spoken word that is being spoken through them. Their thoughts are my thoughts. Their heart beats in rhythm to my heart. They lead my sheep with the love and compassion I have led them with. While they have endured persecution, being mocked and ridiculed for their obedience, commitment, and love for me. They have remained in covenant with me as faithful witnesses of my light and glory. They will now rise up to be the beacons of hope for others in these last days. They are carrying a double anointing of my authority and Holy Spirit's power, journeying with me fearlessly with boldness and courage, unafraid to expose the evil darkness to my light while calling out that which must be uprooted and torn down to build my kingdom on earth. Their hearts remain pure, holy, and righteous, righteous as they go forth carrying the mantles of my glory I have gifted them in for such a time as this. My battle strategies have been downloaded through their unity with my Holy Spirit. He has given them divine wisdom, discernment, and understanding of how, when, and where the battle for precious souls must be fought during this end time supernatural war. My remnant bride has been um, has been positioned within the seven mountains of societal influence, family, religion, education, media, entertainment, business, and government. Watch and see what is taking place within communities, cities, 
counties, states, and nations within the days and weeks to come for those that have been called but not chosen. I have called, but you have not heard my voice. It is past your time to step out, making a stand for those things that are pure, holy, and righteous within your societal influence. Taste and see that I am good and perfect in all of my ways. My glory is riding on the winds of the Spirit, sweeping in from the north, south, east, and west. My presence is being manifested as never before in the history of creation. For it is in this time the shift in the Spirit has reached its um, kairos. The crescendo of my glory is being released throughout the earth. Many will be caught unaware and fear for the terror they will see in their natural sight. Those that are my chosen ones will rejoice knowing that they will soon be rewarded for their faithful witness of me. Oh, how beautiful are the feet of my remnant bride. How lovely are their ways of worshiping me in spirit and truth. They are the apple of my eye and the beat of my heart, says the Lord of angel armies. And in Romans 10 and 15 in the NIV, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those that bring good news. In 2 Corinthians 3 and 18 in the Passion Translation, it says, We can all draw close to him with the veil removed from our faces. And with no veil, we all become like mirrors who brightly reflect the glory of the Lord Jesus. We are being transfigured into his very image as we move from one brighter level of glory to another. And this glorious transfiguration comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. And lastly, in Psalm 68, 3 and 4 in the Passion Translation, but let all the righteous be glad. Let Yes, let them all rejoice in your presence and be carried away with gladness. Let them laugh and be radiant with joy. Let them sing their celebration songs for the coming of the cloud rider, whose name is Yahweh. Oh, the cloud rider, Passion Translation says, Jesus, our Lord, is the cloud rider. That trump will sound. And the cloud rider will come on, right, uh, riding on the clouds of glory. We that have been chosen for such a time as this know that his coming is soon. We know it in our spirit. There is like this, this um, yearning, this anticipation, this... Um, expectation of knowing he's got something great just around the corner. Oh, to God be the glory and to his son we lift up and praise and worship for his soon return. Now I pray that if you are not among the chosen ones that you will spend intimate time with Jesus and search your heart out to understand why it is that you're not amongst the remnant bride. There is um, many, the word says, that have been called but there's only a few that has been chosen. I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice falls within the chosen ones. May God bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you. And I pray this word brings encouragement to you, to the chosen ones, 
and and also to those ones that have been called that have not stepped out in um, their relationship with when they first since when they first believed and grown closer to your savior step out be amongst the chosen ones I tell you there's no other way to do life than to be chosen by Jesus Christ I love you all and until next time God bless you and keep you and may God's face shine upon you and for all of those that um, are skipping down this path with Jesus, walking the uncharted pathways, the mysteries that, um, you know, that we are discovering as we walk this uncharted pathway, bringing souls into the kingdom for this is the last great harvest. Maybe we, um, God has, has, um, um, purpose for us to uproot and tear down something, but for others, he has chose to, or he has planned for us to build a ministry. Go and do it for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. I love you all. And until next time, God bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you. And if you haven't subscribed to my, um, to this is God's channel, but if you haven't subscribed to hearing um, what the, the Father, Abba, and Jesus and the Holy Spirit speaks to me nightly, and as I scribe them and I release them, I pray that um, you will subscribe. And they all the spoken words might not be for you individually, but I can about guarantee you the Holy Spirit has um, some spoken words that he, um, he has um, for you to further your deeper relationship with the Son, Jesus. I love you all. Until next time, God bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.